What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and this week I want to do something different with my vlogs. As most of you noticed, I started filming my preparation for European Championship and uh, basically I post things I do throughout the week. This week will be different. Today I'm going to film my whole workout. So I'm already on, on uh, my second exercise. Uh, I didn't get the chance to film the intro, so the intro is right now. So yesterday was a holiday, but we still train. Yesterday I was doing some side pressure, tricep training, bench presses, things like that. Uh, basically my power base. Today I'm focusing more on my elbow flexors. So every movement I'm doing, it involves either back or elbow flexors. I will try to basically explain things that I'm doing in exercises that I'm basically doing. So uh, that's my phone right there. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus, please stop. Okay guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope I will film everything I do today. Uh, I have a lot of things to do. I have 11 exercises and uh, no more time to waste. Let's get going.
So the third exercise is single arm rows with fatter, thicker or fatter handle. I like to do these because it isolates the back and basically gives you a sense of back drive. So to have a good back drive, you need your wrist to be able to hold uh, the weight that's coming. And uh, I'm not going full out. As, as I said, these exercises I just started to do, so I will never overload them. So basically, I, I'll, I don't want to kill myself. I want to grow. I will keep my wrist slightly bent and focus on my grip and pull it back. As you may know, I could do a lot more weight uh, without the thicker handle, but this is arm wrestling training. This is why we need to have strong fingers, strong forearms, and uh, our back is secondary in this exercise. On this exercise, I will more focus on basically activating most of my elbow flexors, trying to take out all the unnecessary movement. Uh, I'm not planning to go heavy weights on this because I have more exercises that I wanna basically get to some bigger weights. But uh, right now, this is more of activation movement. These are hard, I haven't done these in, uh, I don't know, half a year. Half a year is a six month guys. We can do some isometric work, so uh, this is more focusing on my pronation, working together with elbow flexors, so working on my arm sling angle. Uh, I will take this, uh, I will take the strap like this, basically holding it with my thumb, a little bit flexion in my wrist, but not too much. Basically, when you do flexion too much, the tension is not going to the wrist, it's going to your elbow. 
I need to stay it on the breast because uh, again, just like it's the weakest part. Pronation for everyone, I think it's the weakest part. If uh, you can test it by basically putting your arms straight and taking out some weights and then doing the same thing just with the arm bent, you will feel difference like uh, like a lot. But I'm not focusing to keep my arms straight. I will flex it a little bit. I will focus on keeping the angle here and pronation. I forgot about it before, but uh, for this exercise, I'm going to use Glow Grips from Grand Air Grips. Link is in the description. Basically, to squeeze them. Because when we're activating like this, like this, you're activating in one plane. I want to activate more of the muscles of my arm, so I will squeeze it together like this and lift it up. This shit is heavy. <laughs> I just get my uh, wrist is going inwards in flexation and uh, there's no point of resisting it. But I was thinking basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna film uh, I think in two weeks the same workout I'm doing today and uh, just to compare things that I have done, where have I improved and basically you will see how the progression is going because uh, I have done all these exercises with a lot bigger weights, but uh, it, there, are, there are thousands literally exercises that you can do, and there is no point of you be doing all of them like every time. So there is no time in the world to do all of them every time. So for uh, preparation for things that I'm preparing for myself, for Europe, I need to do these kind of exercises. Um, it's hard.
So <laughs> it's kind of it's it's kind of funny because uh, the thing that I felt most in the last exercise was my chest. I think it's from yesterday, but uh, my chest is like burning up and, and and having cramps and things like that. It's like very uncomfortable feeling. But uh, let's get to the next exercise. So sometimes you have to multitask too. So uh, I was having a phone call and uh, it was taking so long that I had to do something. So next exercise is pronation with a rubber resistance band where, there's, uh, where I put the weights in a rubber resistance band. So what this does is uh, basically every time I'm lifting it up, there's still energy going through the motions of rubber and uh, it's creating more tension so I have to basically pronate the arm it's already hard because there's weight there and then I will do a pause basically wait for the impact and it really activates your forearm flexors your pronator muscle and things like that I'm not doing this uh, with too much weight today I'm again I'm uh, hoping there will be room to improve so first set was 16 kilos and next set uh, and I think next three sets I will do with 21 kilos so
So the next exercise guys is a super set of, with underhand pull-ups and uh, kind of neck uh, pull-downs. I will do full range of motion from time to time basically just to have my back working all the way, all the muscles to be, all the muscle cells, all the muscle fibers to be activated. This is why I'm doing full range of motion and uh, let's go. So we are at the last part of the workout and uh, I have a few exercises left. Uh, basically one of them is uh, hard, other two are more, I use them for recovery. So I will explain when we get there but right now we're going to do hammer curls with a hold. I like to do these as an exhaustion exercise, it's the last exercise for, for arms, for my uh, back, for, for elbow flexors, not my back, but uh, basically let's get to it. I will try to do with 14 kilos, maybe I can go heavier, we'll see how much I have left in my arms. So we'll do four sets each, uh, four sets of eight reps for each arm, so let's get to it. We're down to last two exercises. First one of them is full range of motion, wrist flexion. I'm focusing more on the eccentric phase, basically slowly, slowly putting it down. Um, 
I will do two sets of 15 reps. This is the first exercise I use as a tool of recovery just to get blood pumping in my forearms and uh, basically uh, showing the right pathway for tendons to heal because tendons need to be shown how to line up when they're healing. So this is why I like to do these exercises at some points of my training. As I said, I will film the same workout that I did today in three weeks and we'll see and compare how it went, where I improved, maybe I didn't improve somewhere and uh, we will analyze that and look at that. Haven't subscribed, click subscribe button, haven't liked the video, like the video, share with friends and uh, if you want to support me, there's a link from patreon.com where you can do those things. So thank you for watching, see you next time.